Hey guys, it's Adrian here, the Canadian in T-shirt. And today, I'll be breaking down how to transfer money and investments from your banks and online brokers into Questrade. I'll provide a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to perform cash or in-kind transfers into Questrade. This is especially useful for your registered accounts like your TFSA or your RRSP. If you follow these steps, you can move your entire portfolio into Questrade for free. It won't cost you a thing, and best of all, it will not affect your contribution room for your TFSA or RRSP accounts. I'll show you the wrong way to do this, and then the right way to do this. But first of all, why should we switch to Questrade? Questrade is my favorite online broker in Canada because of its low fees. I've talked about why I love Questrade and how their fees work in my previous Questrade tutorials, including how to open a Questrade account, how to actually buy stocks, and how to buy US stocks using Norbert's Gambit. So click the pop-up at the top right to check out my Questrade playlist. There are lots of great online brokers out there. In fact, each of the big Canadian banks offer their own online broker, but these are quite expensive. With those brokers, every time you buy or sell a stock or ETF, you'll have to pay $10 in commission fees. That can really add up. On top of that, the big banks usually charge a monthly or quarterly maintenance fee just to keep your account open. For a beginner who isn't starting with a lot of money, this could really hurt. With Questrade, you pay half as much in commissions compared to the big banks. When you buy or sell stocks with Questrade, they'll only charge you $5 in commission fees. And even better, they charge no fee when you buy ETFs. This makes a huge difference, especially if you're starting out with smaller sums of money. On top of that, Questrade does not charge a monthly or quarterly maintenance fee. They used to charge an inactivity fee if you had less than $1,000 in your account and you didn't do anything for three months. But ever since October, they've gotten rid of this. So you'll never have to pay anything just to keep your Questrade account open. You'll only pay commission fees when you actually buy stocks. Questrade's commission is priced at one cent per share with a minimum of $4.95 and a maximum of $9.95 when you buy stocks. Buying ETFs is free. To simplify, if you buy 500 shares or less, you'll only pay $5. If you buy 1,000 shares or more, you'll pay $10. For most people, you'll only ever be charged $5 commission on stocks, unless you're investing tens of thousands of dollars at once. So if you're investing with one of the big banks and their commission fees are killing you, you might want to consider moving your portfolio into Questrade. That's what I did a few years ago, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Another huge benefit over other brokers like Wealth Simple Trade is that Questrade allows you to hold both Canadian dollars and US dollars. With Wealth Simple, you can only hold Canadian dollars, so every time you buy or sell a US stock, it will automatically be converted back into Canadian dollars, and they'll charge you a 1.5% currency conversion fee every single time. That's huge. With Questrade, your US investments remain in US dollars, and your Canadian investments remain in Canadian dollars. This saves you a ton of money in the long run. And if you need to convert Canadian dollars into US dollars, you can use Norbert's Gambit with Questrade to make this conversion for free. You won't be charged a conversion fee like you would at a bank or another broker like Will Simple. Click the pop-up at the top right to check out my step-by-step -step guide on Norbert's Gambit. It can save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars in conversion fees. Well, Simple Trade is a great platform, but only use it for Canadian investments. If you currently have US stocks or ETFs in your Wealth Simple account, I would suggest transferring them over into Questrade, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. To transfer your portfolio into Questrade, there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. I get this question all the time, and unfortunately, a lot of Canadians are doing the wrong way. Let's say you own stocks in your TFSA account with TD Direct Investing, and you've had enough of their high commission fees, so you decide to switch over to Questrade. So you decide to cash out and sell your stocks. Then you decide to withdraw that cash out of your TFSA account and into your bank account. And finally, you move that cash into your Questrade TFSA and start buying stocks once again. Don't do this. This is a mistake. First of all, you could be cashing out and selling your stock at a loss, especially right now while the market is still down. If you bought $1,000 worth of stocks and then the market crash happened and now they're only worth $700. If you cash out and sell, you've just lost $300. That money is gone. If this is a stock that you wanted to hold onto, you didn't have to sell it. You could have just transferred the stock itself into Questrade. The same stock you held in your TD account will now be held in your Questrade account, but it's the same stock. You haven't sold it, and so you haven't lost any money. You've just moved the stock. And when the market recovers, then you can sell the stock at a profit instead of a loss, or you can keep holding it. This is called an in-kind transfer. You're not transferring the cash value of an investment, you're transferring the stock itself. I'll get into this later in the video, but I usually recommend in-kind transfers. Another mistake of cashing out and selling the stock is that you have to pay commission fees when you sell it. 
And if you're with a big bank, that will cost you $10 for each stock that you want to sell. And once that cash is moved over to Quest Trade, you'll have to pay commissions once again to buy that stock back. But the biggest mistake with this approach is withdrawing the cash out of your TFSA. Even though you're not spending this money and you want to immediately put this money back into your TFSA through Quest Trade, it still counts as a withdrawal and that affects your contribution room. If your TFSA was maxed out, you don't regain this contribution room until January 1st of next year. And so if you withdraw money out of your bank's TFSA to try to move it into your Quest Trade TFSA, you might have to wait for months, sitting with a pile of cash until you can actually put it into your Quest Trade TFSA. Don't make this mistake. And this is even worse when dealing with an RRSP. If you withdraw money from an RRSP, you don't get to put it back. That contribution room is gone forever. And worse, you will be taxed on that RRSP withdrawal. Make sure you check out my Canadian Tax Guide playlist to learn all about how the TFSA and RRSP accounts work. So click the pop-up at the top right. I hope I scared you enough into avoiding this approach. Don't cash out, withdraw, and move that money into Quest Trade. There's a much safer and easier approach to move your money from another bank into Quest Trade. And the best part is it won't cost you a thing, you won't have to sell your stocks at a loss, and it won't affect your contribution room. You do this by submitting a transfer request through Quest Trade. I'll show you a step-by-step -step walkthrough later in the video, but for now, let's break down how it works. To begin, you have to have a Questrade account set up. I have a whole video tutorial on how to open a Questrade investing account, so click the pop-up at the top right to check out that video and then come back to this one. To open your account, make sure you click my referral link in the box below and you'll get $50 in commission-free trade rebates for the first 30 days when you sign up. That basically means that your first 10 stock trades will be commission-free. That saves you $50, plus I'll get a small referral bonus as well. So once your account is set up, you can request a transfer through Questrade. That basically means that Questrade will coordinate with your bank to move whatever cash or investments you have in that account into your Questrade account. You have a few options to choose from. You can request a cash transfer or an in-kind transfer. A cash transfer means that your bank will liquidate all of your investments. Basically, they'll sell your stocks as cash and then transfer that cash amount into your Questrade account. But if you want to keep the same investments and just move them into Quest Trade, then you should do an in-kind transfer instead. With an in-kind transfer, all of your stocks, bonds, ETFs, REITs, and cash will remain exactly as they are. They'll just be moved into your Quest Trade account. So if you own 50 shares of Enbridge and you have $2,000 of cash sitting in your bank's investing account, when you request an in-kind transfer, now you'll have the exact same 50 shares of Enbridge and the same $2,000 in cash now sitting in your Quest Trade account. You didn't sell anything, so you don't have to pay any commission fees. And you don't have to worry about capital gains or locking in a loss. When you request a cash transfer, it's treated the same as if you manually sold the stocks. So if your stocks are currently down, you've locked in that loss as soon as you make the cash transfer. That money is gone and you don't get it back. Let's say you bought 50 shares for $10 each. That's a $500 investment. But now the market crashed and your 50 shares are only worth $6 each. If you request a cash transfer, your bank will liquidate those 50 shares into $300 and move that money. You started with a $500 investment, and now you're left with only $300 in cash in your Questrade account. Instead, if you performed an in-kind transfer, it doesn't matter if those stocks are currently down. Those exact same 50 shares are moved over into Questrade, and hopefully in a matter of months or a year, those stocks will recover. And if you absolutely need the cash, once those stocks are in your Questrade account, then you can sell them manually. In-kind transfer is best if your stocks are currently at a loss, but it's also great if you're at a profit to avoid paying unnecessary capital gains tax. For non-registered accounts, so not a TFSA or an RSP, if you request a cash transfer, it's treated the same as if you manually sold your stocks. And in a non-registered account, whenever you sell a stock and earn a profit or a capital gain, you will be taxed on those capital gains. So if you don't wanna sell them and you wanna hold onto those stocks for longer, then do an in-kind transfer. You're not cashing out and you're not selling those stocks, so you haven't made any capital gains, and so you won't be taxed. An in-kind transfer is usually the best approach, since it gives you more flexibility and it doesn't force your hand. But if you don't intend to hold onto those investments and you want to cash out, then a cash transfer makes sense. Also, an in-kind transfer might not be possible if those assets aren't available in Quest Trade. For example, I held mutual funds in my Tangerine account, and you can't buy Tangerine mutual funds on Quest Trade, so I had to sell those mutual funds and make a cash transfer. Quest Trade offers even more flexibility because you don't have to transfer your entire account over. You can request a partial transfer. If you want to empty your account and move everything over to Quest Trade, then you could do an all-in cash or an all-in kind transfer. When you request a partial transfer, you'll just have to specify exactly how much cash you want to move, which stocks or ETFs you want to move, and how many shares of each. I'll walk you through this whole thing later in the video. 
One of the main benefits of requesting a transfer is that it won't cost you anything. When you transfer money or investments out of your bank or broker, that financial institution will almost always charge you a transfer fee. And this fee is often more expensive when transferring a registered account like a TFSA or RRSP. It depends on the institution, but most of them will charge a transfer fee between $100 and $120. The good news is that Questrade will reimburse you this transfer fee up to $150. And it doesn't matter how much or how little you transfer over, there's no minimum balance required. You just have to show Questrade proof that your bank charged you a transfer fee and Questrade will reimburse you. And I'll show you how to do that. And you can do this for each of your accounts across different institutions. It's a great incentive to attract new clients. Another huge benefit of this transfer approach is that it will not affect your contribution room for your TFSA or your RRSP. Questrade will coordinate with your bank to transfer those funds from their TFSA account into a Questrade TFSA account. That money never leaves the TFSA umbrella, so it's not considered a withdrawal or a contribution. The only thing that changes is your broker. Your TFSA or RRSP contribution room does not change. So you can request this transfer anytime you want. So you don't have to wait until January to regain your TFSA room like you would if you manually withdrew that money. An important thing, if you're transferring from a registered account, you must transfer it to the same type of account. So if you're transferring stocks or money from your bank's TFSA account, it must go into a TFSA account with Questrade. You can't move it into an RRSP account. Once the transfer is complete and your stocks are in Questrade, then you could transfer between your TFSA and RRSP account, but I'll cover that in a separate video. So those are all the rules and benefits of submitting a transfer request with Questrade. Now let's see how we actually do it. Okay, so I just logged into Questrade. So at the top here, I head over to funding and I click on transfer account to Questrade. Here we click start request. So now we have to choose which Questrade account we wanna to transfer to. I have three options here. I'm gonna choose my TFSA account. So I click next. And now where am I transferring from? Here on this dropdown list, you're gonna see a long list of financial institutions. So things like banks, brokers, credit unions, but I'm gonna choose TD Direct Investing. And now my account number. Remember, I'm transferring into my TFSA, so it has to be coming out of my TFSA as well. So I have to enter the account number of my TFSA account with TD Direct Investing. And now I have a few options. I can either transfer my entire account over, or I can do a partial transfer. If I wanna do the entire account, I can do it all in cash, meaning I liquidate all my stocks and transfer the full cash amount of my TFSA account, or I can do all in kind, meaning I maintain and preserve all the stocks, cash, ETFs, all the investments I have in my TD account will just be migrated over into my Questrade account. And a partial transfer allows me to pick and choose how much cash I wanna move over and which stocks I wanna move over and how many shares. To show you the steps, let's start with all in cash. You have to provide a rough estimate of the total value of this account. Again, the market value of your investments fluctuates every minute of every day, but you still have to give them a rough idea. So let's say I have about 5,000 Canadian dollars in my TD TFSA account. And this takes us to a confirmation page where we can confirm the details. So I'm transferring money into my Questrade TFSA account from my TD Direct Investing TFSA account with this account number. I'm gonna do all in cash, roughly $5,000. And for the processing time, Questrade estimates about 20 business days, but that depends on your financial institution. In my experience, transferring from banks like TD or Tangerine, it only took me about two weeks. But give yourself a few weeks for it to process. But I'm not gonna submit this. I'm gonna go back and change it to an all-in-kind transfer and go through the same steps. Enter the estimated value of the account, and then you get to the confirmation page. What's different is if I do a partial transfer, they add an extra step. With a partial transfer, we have to specify exactly what we want to transfer over. So we click Add Asset, and now we can choose to transfer cash, stocks, mutual funds, options, or other. Note that ETFs are included in stock. Let's start with cash, and let's say I only want to transfer $2,000 Canadian worth of cash. But what if I also have US cash? So we click Add Asset, and we add cash again, and now we add 500 US dollars worth of cash. And now let's transfer a stock. So we click add asset, select stock. And now we can choose, I can either cash out and sell my stock or I can transfer it in kind. Let's choose in kind. So let's transfer my shares of Enbridge. So for the ticker symbol, we enter ENB and for description, just write Enbridge. And now we say how many shares we wanna transfer over. I only wanna transfer, let's say 10 shares. 
And now for currency, Enbridge is traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange, so the currency is Canadian. If I want to transfer a US stock, like Coca-Cola, which you can see here, it's the exact same steps, I just select US dollars. And for transferring ETFs, it's treated the exact same way as transferring a stock. If we click next, it takes us to the exact same confirmation page. And now click confirm and sign. The last step is to sign this document where it basically just confirms all the details. Which account you're transferring it to, which account you're transferring it from, are you doing an all in cash, all in kind, or a partial transfer? And if you're doing a partial transfer, it will list out exactly which stocks and assets you want to transfer over. As soon as you sign it and submit it, your work is done. Now Questrade will coordinate with the bank to process the transfer. It will take a few weeks to process, but you can always check your status by clicking on Request History. Here you can see when your transfer is finally complete. At that point, your cash and stocks will be inside your Questrade account. Depending on your financial institution, you might notice that some money is missing, and that's because they charged you a transfer fee. And remember, Questrade will reimburse you that transfer fee up to $150. So what you have to do is wait until the end of the month to receive a monthly statement from your bank. And that monthly statement will list that transfer fee. That's the proof that Questrade needs. As an example, this is my monthly statement from Tangerine Bank for June 2019. Looking at my RRSP account with Tangerine, at that month, I sold $554 worth of mutual funds and then performed a cash transfer into my Questrade RRSP account. However, Tangerine charged me a $45 transfer fee, as you can see right here. So I have to upload this statement to Questrade to get that money back. So on Questrade, go to Account Management, and then Upload Documents. First, you specify which account you're working out of, and now for Document Type, select Rebate. And now we upload that monthly statement, which shows that transfer fee that was charged to us. Give a brief description of what the statement is, and then click Upload. To get this rebate from Questrade, make sure you upload this statement within 60 days of submitting your transfer request. And that's all you have to do. Now let's go to my account activity and go back in time to June of 2019 to see exactly what happened. Okay, so I'm back in the summer of 2019. I only want to see transactions for my RRSP account, and I only want to see transfers, and fees and rebates. So in June, I transferred $554 from my Tangerine RRSP account into my Questrade RRSP account. And then a month later, I received a monthly statement where I saw that Tangerine charged me a $45 transfer fee. So I uploaded that statement, and a week later, Questrade reimbursed me that $45 transfer fee. So there you have it. That's how you transfer money or investments into Questrade from another bank or broker. And if you follow these steps, it won't cost you a thing, it won't affect your contribution room for registered accounts, and you can enjoy low-cost investing with Questrade. And again, if you want to get started with Questrade, click my referral link in the box below, and you'll get $50 in commission-free trade rebates for the first 30 days when you sign up. Plus, I'll get a small referral bonus as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Every thumbs up and comment really does help me build this channel on YouTube. And hit that bell icon to be notified of my new videos every week. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, at Canadian T-shirt, click the links in the box below or click the links on my homepage. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Canadian in a T-shirt. Bye guys.